Getting older is the best. As long as you train with weights three times a week, run three times a week, <laughs> take a cold shower and you eat mostly unprocessed and minimally processed foods and you try and get sleep and you limit your alcohol and you work on your traumas, like you're going to have a great freaking life. Hi everyone. So today we are going to create this simple animation, yet a very good looking animation. So sometimes simple ones can also look great. First, what we have to do is basically, you know, make a solid let's keep it white okay then head on to effects and presets and type search for four color gradient and put it on your solid okay and then we are going to choose you know something like this okay select this white okay to make this calendar, you can download it from Google Images, but I think he has designed it here. So it is better to do it manually. So you can change properties according to your liking. So let's make it. It is nothing difficult. It's very simple. So first you have to use text layers okay, to write the numbers here and again use text layers to make this okay, write this Sunday, Monday and then use a pen tool to make a straight line again use a pen tool to make these arrows and lastly use again a text layer to write this okay so i will be fast forwarding this section as it is very easy but this design will take time so i'll just you know fast forward this section Okay, now after creating everything, I know it's not looking perfect. At last, what you have to do is search for drop shadow effect. Okay, and put it on the shape layer. This, you know, white shape layer. Increase the opacity, increase the distance, and softness. Okay. What we have to do is simply, you know, select everything, okay, hit Control Shift C to make it a preform layer, and let's rename it to Calendar. Okay, okay. Now as you can see, we have got you know, this. Make the next thing, which is this. Okay. So first we'll design all the things. Okay. So this one. Simply again hit rounded rectangle tool and this time make something like this and let's add the you know, drop shadow so I just copy the drop shadow from here and paste it over here okay and let's you know bring our PNG so this icon I have got it from pre pick okay just search for weight lifting, lifting icon let me show you yeah so just go here okay in prepick and search for your icon and then make sure it's static right click or just click over here and select this png okay then you will get the icon now i will head back and bring my icon over here okay hit s make it smaller Okay, and let's write new text. And 
then I will press another run three times okay so what I'm going to do is simply copy these three hit control D and you know drag this down okay go inside your calendar okay then select this okay eclipse tool make sure the color is blue and now make a circle okay now you have to just okay, first bring it below and then okay, let's put it here now let's go back as you can see you have got this so we have designed it already now is the time for animation so in the beginning you can see the calendar is coming down and then these three okay circles are coming up so to do that first i'll head on to my calendar okay inside my calendar i'll just select these three okay hit it s for scale and make it zero okay go out and here what i'll do is simply hit t for position okay t for opacity Click both of the keyframes, go ahead one second, again click both the keyframes, then go back, I'll just bring this up, okay, make the opacity 0, now it will come down like this, select these keyframes, F9, and then drag it towards the left, okay, so, you know, you will get this animation, as simple as that, now, over here what we have to do is simply and head on to file okay scripts and then i'll bring my you know this pound cr i will also you know give this script in the description so you will be able to use it okay and then what we have to do is simply you know hit scale on all of them go ahead and then just make everything 100 okay like this select these keyframes make it scale overshoot and bounce it okay now what I'll do is bring this second keyframe closer. Okay, so we'll get this bouncing effect. Now I want this to be one by one. So first this one, so I'll just move the second one a bit ahead and third one more ahead. So you get this effect. Now as we head back, you can see this animation takes place. Okay, as simple as that. So after you get this, you know, animation the next thing is this part comes in so you know it will just scale up then this all will come up so it's easy simply what we have to do is i just you know select this okay then select this train three times and lifting and i will parent link it to our shape layer one okay which is this now i'll hit after it comes down okay from over here s scale animation go ahead then hit scale go to the first keyframe make it zero okay it will come up like this select these scale overshoot plus and then bounce it and when this comes up we have to simply you know I'll select my this lifting one and then hit T and shift T to open position and opacity keyframes. Go here, then go here somewhere, click both of them, go to the start and then bring it down. Okay. Simply I just head on to my 
view the presets select this text paid up okay so somewhere around here i'll just select this train three times and then put it on this okay smooth animation and then as you can see this whole thing will become small and then this will come up okay so it's simple now from here what you have to do is simply just select this shape layer one go ahead then go back like this okay then at line and then drag this towards the left And at the same time, now this will come up. So I'll select this. Okay. And now the same animation, I'll just fast forward it. The same animation which we did with this whole thing, I will do with this. Okay. And then after this, what happens is, you know, this whole thing goes back okay and it becomes blurred and then this thing's coming so it's simple to do that first what we are going to do is after this just you know new adjustment layer okay and then search for version blur put it on this click on the blurriness go ahead again no now make it sorry set you f9 and then drag this to the left now you will get this blurry animation now what we have to do is simply make everything 3d except the solid okay so get this animation and when it starts you know to become blurry there what we'll do is introduce camera and a null option make that 3d2 connect the camera to the null and then hit key on the null for position keyframe and go ahead and drag this or zoom it out f9 and then drag this towards the left okay so you get this animation now i'll bring in my next resources which is like this yeah bring it over here okay right click and then click horizontal put it over here make it big Add some drop shadow to it. Okay. Make this three two. Just you know, hit T for opacity. Go ahead again, hit T for opacity. Go to the first, make it zero. Select F9, drag towards the left. And then we also have to bring the shower PNG. Right click, transform, and then click horizontal. Just put it over here. I'll bring my water stream. Okay, PNG. Sorry, this is a you know overlay. So I just head on to here, go to mode, and make it screen. Okay, hit S and you know put it over here like this. Okay, and let's make them both 3D. Now we have to just you know. Make them fade in animation too. So I just 
copy this and paste it on both of them okay so this shower you know this i got from envato elements it was a paid you know overlay but if you want free ones then you can head on to youtube and search there okay now the next thing is this okay taking a cold taking cold shower so to make this you can just directly head on to you know google images and search for you know message box png or you can manually make it here okay so just take a pen tool okay enable the stroke okay i've just made this a uh, random one but what you can do is just you know take out a frame from the original video and just trace it over that or you can just download it okay and inside this just write taking cold shower okay and this one also just use opacity keyframe to fade it in and then what you have to do is again do the same thing and this will come from the right okay so what is happening is it is again zooming out and this is coming in so it's simple so what we can do is simply after this okay just let me bring the png yeah, this one what we can do is simply put it over here okay first make it big okay like this much okay put it over here and then after this go zoom south hit p for position keeping go ahead again hit position also we can add rotation so i hit z Again, it said rotation. Go to the first keyframe and you know rotate it. Something like this. And at the end, we have to just bring it at the center. Somewhere like this. Okay. Select all of these. F9. Then drag this to the left. Everything and make it vanish so to do that just select everything now select everything okay and accept the white solid hit t for opacity and click on the opacity keyframe okay go ahead and make it zero okay so you get this animation and from here you have to just write the text okay as you can see just write this text same thing go ahead again slide in animation like this and this we made at the start okay so with this our animation ends here hope you like this video and learn something new see you in the next